Welcome back everyone to the Hello World Guy and this is the first episode of our Flappy Bird series so basically we did an introduction in the last one and you can go and check that out and in this series we are actually going to begin with our game and this is not like a really beginner series if you don't know anything about Unreal Engine you should check out my beginner series instead so yeah let's let's get started with today's video so what uh, the basic idea that uh, Flappy Bird has is that we have uh, got a bird and we have got some cameras and the bird basically goes up and down and that's basically the way it works now uh, obviously we want to implement something like that uh, but how exactly are we going to do that well first of all let's go under our content and right click and create a new uh, folder here and I'm going to call this folder uh, like obviously it's going to be our blueprint folder because we need a blueprint folder okay uh, let me do that again uh, yeah so we are going to basically try a blueprint f uh, add a blueprint folder here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here and create a new blueprint class now for this just choose like game mode uh, just choose game mode and I'm going to select that and we are going to rename this to be our uh, let's say main game mode yeah just type in main game mode and uh, once you do that uh, the next thing that we want to create here uh, is uh, a obviously a player character I'm going to go under my uh, editor preferences actually and I'm going to change this to be main window uh, the asset or uh, editor open location because I don't like different windows here uh, so I'm going to basically go under here and I'm going to create a new blueprint class which is going to inherit from character let's say uh, actually yeah let's let's do it character and I'm going to call this one like pawn not release I'm going to call this one like bird I guess so this is basically our bird and this is the bird that you slap okay so I'm going to go under my scene now and I'm going to control s uh, in order to save this scene and I'm going to save this as our game map and I'm going to just save it in the main directory instead of uh, adding a separate directory for it because we don't really need to do that alright so here we have got our game map here you can open that up you can see this is what it looks like you can go ahead and delete this so uh, first what we want to do is firstly we want a camera setup with our bird and uh, a way to make our bird like mm, jump up and down without having any problems. So how are we going to do that? Now uh, the actual idea is that uh, we are going to have a different kind of thing here. So firstly let me go under blueprints and let me rename this bird thing that we created to just a our player. Mm, because uh, I'm kind of thinking for a special kind of workflow here this will be our player and for our player we'll have nothing but just we'll leave everything as it is and just add in a camera yeah like that okay just leave the camera at the center and we are going to control shift s to save the player and then i'm going to go ahead and select my uh, uh, you know player start position and uh, this is currently basically it's like at we are going to put this at 000, zero, zero but what I'm actually going to do uh, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this back uh, on the y axis for like 200 or let's say 500 points so okay uh, actually I think uh, not on the y instead on the x let's do that uh, let's put this on the x and let's make it this zero uh, actually negative negative 500 yeah so there this is this is basically our uh, you know the act thing uh, here now now if I go ahead and play this uh, game then you can see that there is uh, I am in kind of here and uh, actually uh, this is kind of weird because this is a pawn not our player so we need to open up our game mode and make sure that you go ahead and select the default pawn class to be your uh, player okay once you do that go back here and let me just like save everything okay uh, and let me hit play and you can basically see that uh, okay that's again causing problems because we have not set the main game mode yet go under project settings maps and modes and select the game default uh, basically the default game mode to be this main game mode yeah and for the editor startup man make sure you choose game map and that same for this all right now let's go ahead and hit play now you can see i cannot turn around because uh, uh, now the player does not have that functionality so this is basically the player and this is here we'll basically be having our uh, game functionality so this player is the place we'll have our game functionality in and what we are actually going to do is uh, we are going to make it so that we have a separate character for the bird uh, a separate actor for the bird so i'm going to create a new blueprint actor and i'm going to call this bird all right once i do that i'm going to take this and i'm going to put this exactly in the middle of the scene now if i play uh, you can actually should be able to see the bird but i'm actually going to go ahead and select this sky sphere and delete it now if I hit play again, 
Uh, where is the? Uh, okay, let me select the bird and go near him. Uh, there is the bird, and uh, yeah, we we actually should be able to see him, but we cannot because this is not an actual sphere; it's just a scene route. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a uh, cube here, I guess. Uh, or and actually, let's bring the sky sphere back. I'm going to hit Control Z a couple of times. Yeah, and let me go ahead and select a cube here for now L and let it play and you can see that we can actually see the cube in front of us Now the player is actually falling down right now. We don't want that. I'm going to go under player select character movement And I'm going to go down under jumping and falling and uh, in here you can see we have got a bunch of stuff We have got a jumping the velocity a braking the acceleration air control. Okay, let me just go ahead and say uh, mm, gravity apply gravity while uh, all right, we have got gravity scale change that gravity scale to zero and our player should not fall down And we should be able to steer straight into this cube You can't actually make that out that well because it's kind of uh, white uh, We don't want that so we are going to basically create a new material for this uh, I'm going to go under content right click and create a new folder here. You can just name the folder as uh, materials uh, like that and I'm going to actually open this up and right click and create a new material here. You can just call it uh, dark because this is going to be a general dark material. And then I'm going to open this up. I'm going to add in a three vector, constant three vector in here. And then I'm going to set its color to be you know, somewhere grayish. Okay. And I'm going to hit apply with that. Uh, just a simple material nothing too complicated going on here and once it actually manages to do that you can see this is what it looks like I'm going to go under our bird and obviously we'll have the models and stuff later So currently I'm just going to select the dark material for this now that makes means that I we should be able to see this pretty good e Okay, that that is our flappy bird <laughs> Because uh, yeah, that's basically what we have got right now all right, so now what we need to do is we need to change uh, a couple of the mm, things that we have got here so uh, if I actually go ahead and select this cube and I'm actually going to go ahead and instead of this cube I think I should be adding a sphere here now I'm going to actually delete the cube here because we don't need that and we are going to just keep the sphere and obviously let's just put the dark material in here mm, and I'm also going to select the sphere and I'm going to increase its size to 2 uh, or let's keep it at 1 let's see yeah that, that looks actually pretty good so this is our sphere. Now we actually want this sphere to have gravity because this is the bird. So I'm going to select the default scene root and I'm going to uh, go ahead and actually not do that. Let, right click on the sphere and uh, just say, uh, alright, let me see. Uh, uh, just basically take this and plug this uh, take this up and that should make the sphere the root instead now once that's done you can actually go under the sphere and you can select simulate physics now as soon as you do that you should see that this falls down uh, yeah that that's actually pretty awesome and uh, you can see we have got this stuff here and if I go under physics and if I try to select mass in kg and I try to like decrease this to 0 0.0001 then you can see it still falls down at the same rate because that um, mass does not actually have to do something with gravity if you uh, have studied physics. Actually, it uh, does, um, but uh, not quite sure why that's happening. Anyways, um, uh, but it's basically falling, which is pretty good. And uh, uh, what we want to do now is we, uh, this. Basically, we have got a gravity working thing here. So what we want to do is we want to. Okay, I accidentally pressed F1, uh, which was a bit bad. All right. So what we want to do is we want this to actually uh, like flap when we press a button. So we need to implement that now. So in order to do that, I'm going to go under project settings under input. I'm going to add a new action mapping here, and I'm going to rename this to let's say uh, flap. I guess. Yeah, that that looks pretty good flap just call it flap and in here I'm going to use uh, a couple of keys firstly it's going to be the left mouse button the second one is going to be spacebar and the third one is going to be enter currently we are going to make this from a computer uh, PC or Mac or whatever perspective but later we'll move on to actually transferring uh, the things to mobile platforms like you know Android and iOS so I'm going to go under here uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under my player and I'm going to close down the rest of the stuff for now and we are going to go under the event graph now in here in the variables I'm going to right click uh, I'm actually not going to do that yet I'm going to go ahead and delete this actor begin overlap and event tick because we don't need the, those right now and from the begin play I'm going to use a function here called get all actors of class so just say get all actors of class actually not really uh, have we got like a get actor of class uh, get actor of class yeah just use get actor of class 
now for the class just go ahead and say uh, you know bird which this is basically give us the uh, first bird that it can find our scene and scene our scene contains only one bird we'll only have this bird so that's pretty cool we are going to get this actor uh, and uh, we are going to right click on this uh, and we are going to use promote to variable I'm going to call this variable bird uh, let's do that and I'm going to remove the search here uh, let me hit compile and this is basically a variable of type bird which we are calling bird and this is uh, the actual bird so now we are going to right click and go ahead and add in a flap event here uh, flap event here okay and when this is pressed we basically want to make this bird flap so how are we going to do that but to find that out you'll have to stay tuned for the next video so i am going to end this video here and i will see you in the next one in which we will do more awesome stuff so make sure to like and subscribe and also check out my other channel and share this video with as many people as you can and bye